Good morning everyone and welcome to our reflections for today. My name is Julia Robinson. I'm a local preacher in the Banks and Esketh Bank Circuit and I'm very pleased to be with you this morning. The reading set for today is the well-known account um, in the Gospel of John chapter 4 of when Jesus met a Samaritan woman by a well. Jesus and his disciples had been in Judea and were on their way back to Galilee. They had to go through Samaria and when they came to the outskirts of a village called Sychar, it was, in, it was by then the middle of the day and Jesus stayed to rest beside the village well. Verses 7 to 14 say this. Soon a Samaritan woman came to draw water and Jesus said to her, Please give me a drink. He was alone at the time because the disciples had gone into the village to buy some food. The woman was surprised for Jews refused to have anything to do with Samaritans. She said to Jesus, You are a Jew and I am a Samaritan woman. Why are you asking me for a drink? Jesus replied, If you only knew the gift God has for you and who you are speaking to, you would ask me and I would give you living water. But sir, you don't have a rope or a bucket, she said, and this well is very deep. Where would you get this living water? And besides, do you think you're greater than our ancestor Jacob who gave us this well? How can you offer better water than he and his sons and his animals enjoyed? Jesus replied, Anyone who drinks this water will soon become thirsty again. But those who drink the water I give will never be thirsty again because it becomes a fresh bubbling spring within them, giving them eternal life. Now, as a keen gardener, I've been thinking quite a lot about water recently. We had a couple of weeks of hot sunny weather which meant frequently going out with a watering can, watering all the delicate plants I had managed successfully to grow from seed this year. United Utilities were sending emails with advice on how to conserve water because they were struggling to keep the supply open for everyone. And this was followed by thunderstorms and, and rain and uh, Thankfully, this was turning my lawn back from brown to almost looking like a vibrant green again. Also, thankfully, the water butt has now been refilled. Water is one of the most important elements on earth, not just for gardens, but for our own health and well-being. The thing about this passage that first struck me is that the woman speaking to Jesus was also thinking along the lines of physical water, whereas Jesus was speaking about spiritual water. Physical water cleans, hydrates, gives life to physical things such as plants, fish and animals and human beings. We often take it for granted. It's so easy to just turn on a tap and get what we need, isn't it? But the water that Jesus was speaking about here is spiritual water, which is a gift of God. Jesus is the fountain where the water of life, the living spiritual waters spring from. He is the one who will freely give from these springs of spiritual water to all who ask. As human beings, we thirst for many things, and thirst is another way of saying long for. Some people don't know what it is they are longing for, and they move from one thing to another, looking for whatever will fill the gap in their lives. Only the Lord Jesus can satisfy this kind of thirst or longing, and will do so if we ask. Jesus said to the woman, Anyone who drinks this water will soon become thirsty again. But those who drink the water I give will never be thirsty again. It becomes a fresh bubbling spring within them, giving them eternal life. Knowing Jesus as Lord and Saviour gives us the assurance of eternal life. And this is what gives us this bubbling spring of joy within our hearts. 
there is nothing else that we need. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Saviour. The fountain of living water that means we will never be thirsty or longing for earthly physical desires. We thank you that through him we have the promise of eternal life with you. Keep us close to your side so that we may always be close to the spring of living water flowing from your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. In his name we ask this. Amen. <laughs>